हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल लाइफ ऑफ प्री एंड वेलकम इफ यू आर न्यू हियर दिस इज प्रियंका एंड लेट मी स्टार्ट बाय विशिंग ऑल माय व्यूअर्स अ वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर हैप्पी 2023 I hope you enjoyed watching my previous video which was part 1 of the two part Aruba series. Well in this video I'll be sharing what we did outside our resort and how we explored Aruba. Taxis are very popular here with fixed rates and made our journey from one place to the other very comfortable. We picked half a day to explore the downtown and decided to have dinner in this Argentinian restaurant. Well, I guess we were still in the mood to celebrate Messi lifting the FIFA World Cup. Well, this was a quaint little restaurant, but the menu was very very meaty. I ordered the Argentine grill or parrilla Argentina and Renal ordered a ribeye steak. We started off with some complimentary bread which was delicious and then our food arrived. My order was massive. Initially when I ordered I thought the food was just expensive, but when I saw my plate, I realized that the portions are huge. My dish could easily be enough for 2 to 4 people. I wish the person who took my order would have just told us that. I mean just look at our table did we look like we could eat all that like seriously which one should i taste first <laughs> and FII the marketplace or stores for shopping are just open from 9 am to 6 pm so basically in the evening if you want to go out shopping and buy souvenirs and stuff almost all of the stores are closed just restaurants are open otherwise it's just quiet and empty at least it was like that when we were there Well our favorite activity this trip was scuba diving. We are not certified divers but this company made it possible for us to dive. It was my first time and Renal's second time diving. Our trainer picked us up from a hotel, took us to our venue, gave us our first verbal training session explaining everything that we had to do, signs, measures that we had to take and instructions we had to follow underwater and then we practiced in water before we finally dove. Do carry swimsuits as we were just given the orange t-shirt so you're going to be wet after the dive and you will need a change of clothes. Also I did not carry my GoPro with me underwater as I wanted to dive safely as it was my first time and trying to breathe using the oxygen tank is a tasking process all I can say is it was a surreal experience as we swam with the most beautiful marine life turtles were my absolute favorite we spotted three huge turtles and one was the largest I've ever seen anywhere in my entire life and once everything was done our trainer dropped us back to our hotel so i definitely recommend this company i'm going to share their link in the description box down below and no it was not sponsored it was mrinal who found out about this company and we paid and we experienced the entire thing oh too good oh this is mind blowing how is it what the boy oh this is the real thing the real If thing you love water Yeah, there's nothing better than school. Best birthday. Yeah. Me, the biggest enemy. Oh, me? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. How many weights did you add on me? <laughs> I, I feel them now. A little bit more, but then yeah. the thing is, at the end you were basically too heavy. Yeah. But then it's, it's 
all about the breathing. Exactly. See. Initially I was floating up. Then you were too fast. Yeah. But I wanted to like this, 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 this. You wanted to do that. No, you're not supposed to. Scuba is not that. Scuba is supposed to be peaceful. Think of the sound, the breathing sound underwater. Yeah. And we saw three, three huge turtles. That's why I said yeah. when I stop, that one is going up and it's going, coming back down. Then, uh, yeah. Awesome. We love to go for a guided tour whenever we visit a new place and we found out about this rugged open jeep tour from our resort concierge. It takes you to the lighthouse, the chapel, the Iron Rock formations, we take you to the glass blow factory, it includes lunch, okay. because country, we take you to the donkey sanctuary if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. There's a donkey center, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> and then we Donkey Sanctuary. Yeah, we take it yeah. all the way to the south side to the baby beach where you can swim and snorkel. Oh, that's the baby beach. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we come Do they provide the snorkel way. stuff? And okay. they snorkel are snorkel everything. They, they give everything mm -hmm. is included. Our jeep came to pick us up around 9.15 am and we were a total of 16 passengers in the vehicle from different hotels. Our driver come guide told us about the history of the island and kind of kept us well informed about everything and all the attractions we visited. Well, I'm going to keep that a secret now so that you get to listen to all the stories firsthand for yourself when you visit and also because I've kind of forgotten most of it. But anyways, our first stop was the California Lighthouse. Now, when they say rugged, they mean rugged. It's an off-road, super dusty and super bumpy tour. We then headed to the Alto Vista Chapel. Honestly, the star of the entire trip was this vehicle for me. This was a very different ride, a very different tour. Generally, you are taken on these tours either on a bus or a van. But this open jeep was very, very adventurous, in my opinion. Even though it was dusty, your hair goes crazy. Um, it's super bumpy, so I do not recommend this for pregnant women. I'm going to leave a link of this company in the description box down below. Uh, we had a great time, you know, for the both of us. It was so much fun. And here's another taste to the bumpiness of our ride. Aruba has around 5 to 6 natural bridges and we were taken to the biggest one.
We then went to a glass blowing exhibition which also had an attached restaurant and that's where we had lunch. Our next stop was the Donkey Sanctuary. Throughout the drive, our driver took us through a lot of cool places of the island and of course explained the significance and the history of those areas. Our last stop was the baby beach. Then we got to dip into the gorgeous ocean and spend some refreshing time before heading back to our resort. Aruba is a gorgeous island. We got to cover so much north, south, east, west, almost all of Aruba within our short trip and we absolutely loved it. So that's it for this part 2 of our two part Aruba series. I hope you enjoyed this one. Do subscribe to my channel and shower lots and lots of love to this video and to my channel as well. I'll see you soon in my next one. Until then, bye!